we first opened the dairy up, the uh, community was not very happy that we were coming. They were worried about the smell, they were worried about everything else that comes along with it. So what we've done is we have irrigation pivots out in the fields. So what we've done is um, we try to irrigate at night and to minimize any of the complaints. We have had some complaints when we first opened up, but for the most part, they've went away. Now that I'm using MTM in this big pond, I don't have any odor problems anymore. We don't have any, we don't have any, any issues at all with odor, none whatsoever. And that makes me happy and it makes the community happy. The community is very important to me. I hold them very dear to my heart. Um, they're just as important to me as my family and my dairy farm. We've seen a seven to 10 percent increase on our yields and I was kind of skeptical when Randy brought it up to me and wanted me to try it because I've tried a lot of stuff that didn't work. As soon as you pour that MTM into the uh, into the lagoon you can instantly see the bubbles you instantly see it start working and um, so I figured I had a feeling it would work in the lagoon and uh, so we waited on our crops and we analyzed it and we did get a seven to 10 percent increase on our crops. That's an average. I have a scale here that we run our, our tractors over and we weigh all of our wagons going into the bag. And it's very important to get the most yield you can to minimize your cost to grow it because you're gonna have your cost no matter what. So using MTM and having that seven to 10 percent increase has helped us on our cost of growing our crops and managing our crops and also chopping our crops and bagging it. And the more feed we have here available for our cows, the less corn I have to buy uh, from a commercial uh, feed lotter. Cows live in the barns and we flush the barns with recycled water. It goes into a a small lagoon will separate the solids out of the wastewater. We grow two crops of corn a year and one crop of oats every winter. So what we do is we maximize what we grow here to keep our feed costs down. And um, all that goes in our feed ration with the cows. And uh, what we try to do um, is maximize our milk production with the best feed efficiency we can get. So when we started putting wastewater, that's a brand new pond, when we started putting wastewater in there, um, I put a couple jugs in there to get it started. And then every week, I'll put a jug in there every week. And I'll put it in different spots because I don't have an agitation in my pond. So there is a possibility we could have solids build up in the bottom of it. But the MTM has really helped that. I can actually run my pivots day or night with the MTM because the smell is not an issue anymore. On our irrigation pivots, we have tips. Tips can get clogged with solids. Now we're separating a lot of the solids out, so that's helped, but since we've used MTM, we've actually got a faster flow rate coming out of our tips, and it'll actually help the, uh, the guns when, they, when they're spinning around, it helps the water flow cross, so you know you're getting an accurate, complete coverage of your crops. And it has seemed to really help the, I guess the thickness of the water, the consistency of the water, and, it, and it's made it flow a lot faster. And we have seen the crust on, on top of the lagoon has, has minimized. It's, it's all turning into liquid. Now we were growing grass, so it was okay. But when I started growing corn, there's certain times of the, of the crop that you don't need to put any wastewater out. So it's very important uh, to minimize your nutrients going into groundwater. First of all, uh, the plant's going to uptake that nutrient, so it does save you money on your commercial fertilizer. And second of all, it does not get past the root zone and goes into groundwater. We are in Citrus County. There's three big spring heads in Citrus County, so we're very concerned about our nutrients getting past the root zone. And we're very passionate about making sure that we're doing everything right. We put the MTM in the, in the wastewater. We put the wastewater out on the fields. And what it does is it helps stabilize um, the nitrogen and it makes the phosphorus uh, more available for the plant. The smell is the first thing. Um, 
keep all my neighbors happy. Um, the seven to ten percent increase in my yield, as far as I'm concerned, is a bonus. So I'm very, very happy with it, and I will continue to use it.